The future of a former Coleraine High School teacher is now in the hands of a jury. Julie Hudson Roeder is accused of having sex with two 16-year-old students in her home. And as Local 12's Jeff Hirsch reports live from the newsroom, lawyers from both sides are claiming the other side is lying. Jeff? Well, the jury deliberated for about two hours this afternoon without reaching a verdict. This case is definitely a she said, they said. The question, though, is who said the truth? I should warn you, there is some graphic language in this story. The prosecution and the defense did agree on one thing in this trial. Namely, the other side was full of it. The prosecution said this of the defense's version of what happened. It is absurd. And here's the defense's opinion of the prosecution's case. The whole story is preposterous and unbelievable. At issue, what happened in the former Coleraine High School science teacher's condo one night this spring? The two boys testified that one of them had intercourse with Hudson Rotor and she performed oral sex on the other. They had a place to smoke pot. They had someone to provide them with marijuana and alcohol. By our own admission, they had a place to drink and smoke pot and a person, an adult, a fantasy, a teacher to have sex with. But the defense says while well, Hudson wrote a simulated sex act with a sex toy, there was never any contact with the boys. In fact, the defense says she rebuffed their efforts. The defense says the two boys are lying with an ulterior motive. And they are hoping that they will be able to file a huge lawsuit and collect large sums of money from the Northwest Local School District as a result of this. That's what this is all about. The biggest problem for Hudson Roeder may be a series of text messages between her and one of the students about oral sex. She claimed she thought it was just a general question and said because she's a science teacher, it would not be unusual for her to answer student questions about sex. But the boy's very first text in this exchange referred to himself. Hudson Roeder said she must have missed that. Back to you. All right, Jeff, thank you. And Hudson Roeder faces a prison sentence of up to 10 years if convicted on both sexual battery counts. Jury deliberations resume tomorrow morning.